I found a safe way to open your iPhones at home without the need of any heat or special equipment. This method is compatible with various iPhone models including iPhone 14, iPhone 13, iPhone 12, iPhone 11 series and more including their Pro, Mini, Maxes and other variants even those with the fragile cracked screen. For many common repairs such as replacing the battery, camera, screen or charging port, professionals agree that opening the iPhone is the most challenging part of the repair. That's why in this video I'll also be sharing tips and tricks that have been developed through communicating with hundreds of DIYers and experimenting to address all the mistakes I have discovered that can be made. Additionally, I'll explain why using a suction cup is not always the best option. Without further delay, here are the 5 steps you need to follow to safely open a newer iPhone at home. I hope this helps even those who have never attempted a phone repair before, save money, help the environment, and learn a new skill. First step, many overlook this, but you need to check for any dents or bends in the frame. Dents that are protruding into the screen area like this won't allow for the screen to be lifted here for obvious reasons, but even dents like this are effectively squeezing on the screen making it riskier to use the suction cup as I'll explain later. To address protruding dents like this as a novice, avoid using a hammer and a screwdriver as too much shock can cause damage to the display. Instead, apply constant pressure to pry the dent away and avoid leveraging against the glass even if the screen is already cracked as this can cause broken pieces to shift and potentially damage the display further. Using a power tool like a Dremel is not recommended unless you have the necessary skills. Even if you can't fully unbend the dent, it's not the end of the world as often lifting the other sides first can provide enough wiggle room for the screen to lift. Once you have done that, use either a razor blade or an ultra thin flexible metal tool to remove any fine debris and dust that may have accumulated along the phone's edges. The oil from our hair and skin can combine with this debris to create a sort of adhesive over time, making it harder to open the iPhone. It turns out, we're not the only ones that open up more easily with alcohol. I haven't seen this mentioned elsewhere, but by doing this, you can significantly reduce the amount of force required to lift the display, which can be difficult to gauge, especially if you're new to this. Take a Q-tip and 99% isopropyl alcohol and apply a small amount along the edges where the glass meets the frame. This will soften the adhesive that holds the phone shut, making it easier to open. If you plan to use the phone during this process, make sure to use 99% isopropyl alcohol only. If you use a lower percentage isopropyl alcohol, turn off the phone as the other components in the solution may contain water which can damage the device. Repeat this a few times and let it sit for 5 minutes. If you have time to do this multiple times over an hour, the display will lift with minimal force even without any heat. This tool shown here is only as thick as thick human hair and is lifting a fragile crack display without flexing it at all without any heat. This is ultimately the safest way to go but it takes a long time. You can shorten the prep time with heat which is the conventional method. So grab a hair dryer or heat gun. And with that, let's jump onto the next tip. You want to warm it up to the point where it's just barely too hot to touch. As a general guideline, a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, which is around 140 Fahrenheit, is considered to be too hot to touch, which conveniently is when the adhesive really starts to soften. But if you're worried about overheating, you can use a laser thermometer. Alternatively, if you're using the glass only replacement kit linked in this video, you can use the sticker thermometer and keep it below 100 degrees Celsius, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe. Alternatively, you can use the alcohol trick shown earlier. There are some important precautions for using a suction cup to lift the screen. If you have a cracked screen, a common thing shown on YouTube is to put a piece of tape over it to get a better seal, but using a suction cup to lift the cracked screen can actually cause damage to the display. As you can see here, the cracked glass layer offers zero structural integrity to the display, making it highly vulnerable to further damage. This is why you should replace it sooner rather than later and this too can be done at home. I think if you can open the iPhone, you can do this too, especially with all the DIY tips and accessories developed lately, but I'm certainly biased. There's a video for it in the channel, so check it out and you can decide for yourself. Lifting a cracked screen can cause it to flex, which can potentially have a broken piece of glass dig into the display causing further damage. While the original screens are soft OLEDs which are flexible, overflexing the display can cause damage even on a non cracked screen. If you follow the previous tips, you won't run into this issue, but if the adhesive isn't softened, or if you forgot to remove the screws at the bottom, you can actually delaminate the layers of the OLED display with the suction cup. You will hear a dull pop noise and your display will be completely dead. Improperly gripping the phone or applying too much force can cause the display to pop out with enough force to damage or outright tear the flex cable. This is also why you want to be extra cautious if your phone's frame is dented, because it increases the chance of this happening. This was just a visualization, when it does happen, the display won't turn on at all. To use the suction cup properly, grip your phone securely like this with both hands and move only your index finger to pull to limit the movement and lift only just enough to slide either a flexible metal tool or a guitar pick pry tool. Remove the SIM card tray before you do this to allow for air movement. 
It takes a few tries with each pull weakening the adhesive ever so slightly, but if it does not lift at all, repeat the heat and or isopropyl alcohol trick until it does. Personally, I like lifting it with the razor blade as much as possible, especially when it's a cracked screen. Insert a razor blade on the right side as far as it can go. The lip around the metal frame that supports the display prevents it from going too deep. You'll hear a click when it's fully in. And pry from the bottom of the bezel, which is this plastic part with the metal backing, so the force is distributed by the bezel. If you follow all the previous steps correctly, the force required to lift the screen is minimal. Approximately one pound or half a kilo. You do need to rock it back and forth to detach the adhesive over time, kind of like rocking a car before getting it unstuck. This is what it looks like, no heat, isopropyl alcohol softening trick only, using about one pound of pressure with a razor blade. The amount of adhesive you encounter would depend on how well you've performed the alcohol and the heat trick, but use a pry tool or a guitar pick tool to slice around the screen. You can also use a spudger's flat edge, but remember, this is not a pry tool. Being extra careful not to go too deep on the left side because that's where the cables run. To avoid damaging the cables, you can hold the tool close to the tip. As you can see here, the adhesive only runs along the very perimeter. If you open the iPhone without fully slicing the adhesive on the left side, you will often bend the bezel bracket, which isn't that big of a mistake as you can simply unbend it. If you're super worried about potentially overextending the flex cable, you might actually choose to go this route. Remember that you're not removing the display yet, just opening the phone. Don't attempt to separate the display or try to detach the adhesive by pulling on the display before unscrewing the shields and disconnecting the cables. Last but not least, to remove the shields and disconnect the cables, be mindful that most screws on iPhones are slightly different from one another. Set them aside along with the part in the same orientation it was installed. To disconnect the battery, use the spudger, which is this plastic tool that looks like a pry tool but is not a pry tool. Congratulations, you've successfully opened your phone without damaging anything. It's also worth noting that for some repairs like replacing the rear camera on most iPhones, the screen doesn't have to be removed. Also, many shops do not perform this step as the phone does stay closed either way. However, if you want to ensure a proper seal, make sure to clean the frame thoroughly to a like new condition with a Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol before applying a new tape. Additionally, apply heat and pressure when sealing the phone for optimal results. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I really enjoy helping and it's kind of fun for me to reply to comments. I also found doing the giveaway to be kind of exciting. For those who stuck around till the end, I want to tell you that there's going to be many more, including S22, Pixel 6a, iPhone 14 Pro, just to name a few. And I'm also going to start giving away free cracked screen repairs for iPhones. So if you have a friend who could use a phone or a screen repair, let them know about this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of the day.